for example, we have a sawtooth, we'll want a triangle wave perhaps, or a, a pulse wave, or a sine wave. So how do we add those? And we'll want to be able to switch between them. So I'll go over all that right now. It's pretty easy. Um, right click, go to your panel uh, list again, and we're going to pick a switch. So it shows up up here. I'm just going to go back into this tool mode and move this down to where we can see it. So we have a switch up on the panel, and it just says switch and in. But first, we'll just change this to waveform so that we know that we're switching between waveforms. And if you look down in your structure window here, this thing popped up, the waveform. And, well, it does exactly what we think it does. Um, it's a switch between the different waveforms that we're about to create. So, right now we have one oscillator. Let's, let's make a couple more. Let's make a, a triangle wave. And how about a, a pulse wave? Okay, so we have three here. That should be enough. Um, so yeah, now what are we going to do here? Um, well, first off, uh, these two are basically not connected to our little um, audio signal chain yet. So what we're going to want to do is make sure that they're connected, uh, make sure that they're getting the MIDI information that they need to activate and play notes. Also, real quick, since this is a pulse wave, um, I'll explain what this means later, but simply go to a built-in module math, pick a constant, and change the value to zero so that we have a nice even square wave. Okay, I'll ex again, I'll explain what this means later, I think. Um, okay, so now we have MIDI information going to all our waveforms, but now uh, how do we get them into the audio chain? Um, well, okay, this part's uh, a little bit weird, but so you can see that you only have we only have one uh, input for our switch here. But wait, we'll need three inputs, right? Okay, so to do that, um, basically what we'll do is instead of putting this the output of this saw wave to the multiplier. Uh, or you know to our output right away we'll send it um, we'll send it to the switch instead okay so yeah there's only one there's only one input though so how do you fix that okay so right here um, basically it's this is kind of a cool feature of reactor if the module allows you can actually input more than one um, I guess input, you can output and the input can receive more than one value at a time. If you uh, if you just click and hold on the uh, on the output of the triangle for example or on any output here, if you click and hold and drag a little bit and then you hold command or on a Mac and I, th I think it's control on a PC but I'm not a hundred percent sure you'll have to play around with it. I think it's control though. Um, and if you drag it over, it creates another input there. Cool, right? So notice when I don't do that, you know, nothing happens, or it'll try, it'll even try and fight for that input slot. But if you hold Command or Control, and you drag it over, it'll create another one for you. Okay, so now all you have to do is take from the switch, just uh, drag this up to your multiplier, and you have basically uh, a new complete circuit and I guess real quick we'll just rename um, rename these values I don't know how to rename them up here it doesn't seem to work so what I do is I double click down in the structure window on the name so that you can modify it so I'll just call this one this one's the saw um, this one's the triangle so I'll just call it triangle or TRI and this one's the pulse wave or square wave, so we'll call it square. 
and notice these changes reflect up in the panel and you know when we play a saw tune we hear saw but if we switch to triangle also look if you notice down in the structure here um, whenever I make changes up in the panel it will turn off this yellow light when I switch away from saw and I'll turn on the triangle yellow light uh, basically just signifying that this is now active in the chain and these other ones are not in the audio signal chain. So, so we have saw, then we have triangle. Um, and we also have the pulse wave. So, so yeah, that's, uh, that's basically what I wanted to show you today. Um, they're just basic ways to, uh, to help make the synthesizer just a little more relevant um, and useful. And in the future, um, I'm hoping that by the end of these tutorials that we'll end up with a, a synthesizer that we can sort of put, you know, that's actually somewhat quality that you can put in your arsenal of things to use when you make music. Um, so there you go. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and like and all that good stuff. Again, I'm I know I'm I'm a little bit slow and my my words aren't always um, flowing perfectly, but yeah, it's it's been a long time since I've done these tutorials, so hopefully hopefully the flow I'll kind of get back into the flow and hopefully things will, things will go faster and um, you know hopefully the quality of these quality of these videos will improve over time. So yeah, once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.